everyone, Karen Roby, Taryn and Ray here for ZDNet. A great article, Taryn, that you have up. I want to read the headline here to make sure I don't uh, stumble on this one. Risk V, the Linux of the chip world, is starting to produce technological breakthroughs. This is really interesting. You talked to uh, a, a really great guy for this, the, the creator here. Um, explain what this means, and then we'll kind of break it down from there. There's this guy, David Patterson, Dr. David Patterson at UC Berkeley. He's a legend in the chip world. He actually wrote the key textbook that uh, computer science students use when they're learning about electronics. Um, and uh, I've been talking with him for decades. He's a wonderful man. And he developed something a decade ago that's called RISC-V. And this is kind of uh, down in the weeds of chip design. But the reason it's important is we know that Linux change the software world. You can get software that's not controlled by Microsoft. People said, you'll never do that in chips. Intel dominates chips, NVIDIA. This technology of RISC-V is not only catching on with a lot of companies, but in this interview I had recently with Dr. Patterson, he said, we're starting to see some technological breakthroughs. And that's really surprising because no one expected that. You figure, well, if you're going to give away chip technology, it's not going to be as good as Intel. Um, but he pointed us to some interesting developments. For example, there's a, a small California company called Micromagic, which has made a chip. It runs at 5 gigahertz, which is more than the 3.2 gigahertz of an Intel Xeon, which is like a top of the line server chip. But this 5 gigahertz chip burns just one watt of power when it runs, which is less than 1% of what an Intel Xeon runs. So suddenly you have the potential for server computers. If you imagine multi-chip uh, servers that have a fraction of the power of you know, Hewlett Packard Dell servers with all these Xeons backed into them. And so this appears to be an amazing technological breakthrough that is made possible by this open source technology that Dr. Patterson has developed. And he's got to be really excited about that, uh, Tiernan. Yeah, he's, it's interesting because Patterson and his team recently did 10th anniversary celebration and because of the pandemic, they're not getting together with chips and dip in a room. And so he filmed himself some videos of his collaborators and one of the collaborators, he was saying, what do you think is the impact of our work? And so it's been 10 years now since they first introduced this, they published this manifesto and they introduced the technology. And one of the collaborators said, I think in five to 10 years, risk five could be the most important chip instruction set in the world. And what he means by that is not the Intel instructions that everyone builds software for and not the ARM, ARM holding instructions that go into billions of embedded devices, including smartphones. This thing, RISC-V, could be the most important thing. And he's sort of got a, um, a kind of, you know, um, an academic's ability to step back and, and um, be thoughtful about it. And so what he said to me was, on the one hand, it sounds crazy to assert something like that. Right. On the other hand, it's not impossible, which is kind of what people in academia say, because right. it, as long as it's out there, it's always possible and it's kind of, you know, we'll see. But um, it, it's interesting that they think now what this little project they did is something that is gaining momentum and could really have an impact. Yeah, that's awesome. And and it's great, you know, to have, uh, you've been in this business for, for uh, a long time now to have those kind of contacts and the people, you know, that you get to stay in touch with to see how his work has evolved. As you mentioned, you've been talking to him for decades now. It's amazing. And you can't count this guy out because the technology he worked on in the 1970s uh, ended up being the, the technology upon which ARM was based. That ARM technology, which NVIDIA is now buying for $40 billion, that technology finds its way into the greatest number of devices, Karen. We're talking billions of devices a year from, you know, Nest uh, thermostat devices to smartphones to server computers even. Um, so this is a guy who has already at least helped to many people attribute to him a revolution over the past 40 years. And now he's saying, eh, eh, this thing we developed could be big. It could be big, why not? <laughs> Quite impressive. Uh, all right. Well, much more, of course, on uh, you know risk five. What people need to know. Taryn can be found there in your full article on ZDNet. And we appreciate you being with us. And we appreciate all of you joining us here today.